Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we're going to be talking about passing custom types to methods. So we need to create a parameter of type user. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so don't worry about all this code here. It's from an earlier video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to collapse this method by clicking that little arrow and we're gonna create a new one. So we're just gonna create a new method. We'll say public void take user and the parameter here is going to be of type user. Now inside of here, we can work with that user object as we, as we would in any other method. So for example, we can just console write line and we'll just pass in the, the full name. So we'll say user dot full name. All right, now I wanna expand this do something method and I wanna try this out. So at the bottom here, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to call take user and I'm going to pass in one of our users from our user list. So we'll just say user index zero. Also, um, it should be users. There we go. So up here we have this users list and we're just going to take the very first user, Caleb Curry, and pass it to this method called take user. And it's just going to write it to the console. Very simple. So when I run this, you're going to see a few outputs from this for each. So I'm just going to comment that line out. Now run this and you should just see one. And there you go, you get Caleb Curry. So that is how you do it. Now, what if you change the value of the user inside of this method. So check this out. What if we go user dot first name and assign it the value? Uh, sure. <laughs> when we run this now, you can see we get that new value. But the thing is outside here, it's still going to have that value. So when we say console dot right line, pass in users index zero dot first name, or we actually can just do full name as well. So it matches. We run this, you can see both of them say K Curry um, or however you would pronounce that. <laughs> so changes made to the user object inside of this method persist beyond this. So this is the whole concept of a reference type. Anytime we pass objects, they are modifiable inside of the method. So be warned. Now one thing though, is if we created a new object and assigned it to user, that's not going to persist. So if I said user is equal to new user, and then assign it a first name, check this out. Inside of the method, it's this new value, but outside of the method, it stays the same. So you can change the objects, but you can't assign new objects and make those persist outside. So just, yeah, I'm kind of getting into off topic stuff because all I really wanted to talk about was passing objects, but this is very important to know when you're working with objects inside of methods that were passed in as an argument. So hopefully this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.